Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sarayas. In this video, I will talk about CAIE 5070 past papers. Today, I will talk about paper 4 for sample uh, specimen paper 4 for 2023 and onwards. First of all, let's look at the instructions for Cambridge O-Level Paper 4, which will be followed for examination from 2023. It will be of one hour and instructions will be answer all the questions. Use a black or dark blue pen. You may use an HB for any diagrams or graphs. Write your name, center number and candidate number in the boxes at the top of the page. Write your answer to each question in the space provided. Do not use an erasable pen or correction fluid. This is very important. You are not allowed to use correction fluid. Do not write on any barcodes. You may use a calculator. You should show all your working and use appropriate units. Information, the total mark for this paper is 40. Previously, it was 60, but now the total mark for this paper uh, is 40. The number of marks for each question or part question is shown in brackets. Notes for use in qualitative analysis are provided in the question paper. This is something new. This is the qualitative analysis table. It will be provided to you. These are the tests for anions, tests for aqueous cations, and tests for gases, as well as flame tests for metal lines. Question number one. Liquid Q is a fraction from petroleum containing large alkane molecules. Figure 1.1 shows the apparatus used to crack liquid Q. The vapor from liquid Q is passed over heated aluminum oxide to produce a mixture of hydrocarbons that <laughs> includes alkenes. So here's figure 1.1. You see liquid Q on mineral wool. Heat is provided <laughs> and there's aluminum oxide. Here we are having some empty boxes. We have delivery tube. We have mixture of hydrocarbons collected in the boiling tube. Identify the two pieces of apparatus by completing the boxes in figure 1.1. This is very easy. You can even write uh, uh, stand. Sorry, you can write stand or clamp. The next one is boiling or test tube used to collect gases. Boiling or test tube. State the purpose of the mineral wool. You can see here mineral wool is holding or absorbing this liquid cube. You will simply write to absorb to hold or you can even write contain liquid Q. Give a test and the result that shows the presence of the presence of an alkene. You know, alkene contains carbon, carbon, double bond. And the common test we are having in our syllabus is bromine water. You can even write uh, bromine in cyclohexane. Aqueous bromine or bromine in cyclohexane. Result is very easy. Turns from brown to colorless. Turns from brown to colorless. You can even write decolorized.
state why the delivery tube must be removed from the water when the heating stops. You have to remove this delivery tube once the heating stops. Because the reason is that it uh, the test tube or boiling tube sucks back the water, sucks back the water and you may lose, <clears throat> pushes back the water and you may lose the gases obtained. So you will write to prevent suck back of water. Prevent suck back of water. Question number two. A student investigates the reaction between aqueous sodium carbonate and two different solutions of dilute hydrochloric acid labeled solution A and solution B. The equation for the reaction is given. Na2CO3 aqueous plus 2HCl aqueous. The product will be 2NaCl aqueous plus H2O liquid plus CO2 gas. You see gas is produced in this reaction. The student follows the instructions for three experiments. Experiment one, use a volumetric pipette to add 25 centimeter cube of aqueous sodium carbonate to a conical flask. Add thiamophthalene indicator. Fill a burette with solution A. Record the initial burette reading. Add solution A from the burette until the solution turns colorless. Record the final burette reading. A, table 2.1 shows the student's results. Calculate the initial burette reading for experiment one and record it in table 2.1. This is table 2.1. Here's a table. Final burette reading is given which is 13.2, initial beta reading is missing. But the volume used is also given here, which is 13.2. So it's obvious you must be subtracting zero from 13.2 in order to obtain volume used as 13.2. Experiment two, empty the conical flask and rinse it with distilled water. Repeat the method in experiment one with, uh, with methyl orange indicator instead of thiamophthalene indicator. Table 2.1 shows the initial and final burette readings for experiment two. Initial reading for experiment two will be 12 point, here's 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll write 12.8. What about final reading? Should be 13, nine, 39 point two. Use figure 2.1 to complete table 2.2 for experiment two. Here's a table 2.2. So final bureau reading will be 39.2. And initial reading will be 12.8. So the volume used will be 26.4. You can add these two, 26.4 plus 12.8 to get uh, the final period reading. It should be 39.2, which confirms, confirms your answer is correct. C, methyl orange indicator is red orange in acidic solutions and yellow in alkaline solutions. State the color change observed in the conical flask in experiment two. So what was added in conical flask initially? You will write that color, whether the initial solution is acid or alkaline. It is uh, alkaline initially. So you will write yellow here we have sodium carbonate and acid is added so in the end we'll get the color due to excess of acid which should be red or orange part d suggests one observation other than color change that is made when dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with aqueous sodium carbonate in experiment it's very easy whenever metal reacts with a metal carbonate reacts with acid, carbon dioxide is produced, and you can observe it through bubbling or fizzing. So you write bubbles, fizzing, 
or even you can write uh, effervescence. Experiment three, empty the conical flask and rinse it with distilled water. Empty the burette. Repeat the method in experiment one with solution B instead of solution A. Use thermophthalein indicator. Table 2.3 shows the students' results for experiment three. Here's the table 2.3. Final burette rating is 9.9. .9. Initial burette rating is 16.5. Volume used is 6.6. .6. E, complete the sentence. Experiment dash uses the largest volume of dilute hydrochloric acid to change the color of the indicator. It's very easy. You should write experiment two. Now state the effect on the volume solution B used in experiment three if the aqueous sodium carbonate is warmed before adding solution B. Give a reason for your answer. So if there won't be any change in the uh, volume because the concentration will not change. So you write none here. And the reason will be simply no change in concentration. Part G. One, calculate the simplest whole number ratio of volume of solution A used in experiment one, volume to volume of solution B used in experiment three. The answer must be uh, in whole number. So it should be like two ratio one. Part two, calculate the simplest whole number ratio of concentration of solution A to concentration of solution B. It's very easy. One ratio two. H. The burette is emptied and reused in experiment three. Suggest an additional step after emptying the burette, which would improve the accuracy of the results. In order to get more accurate result, you will rinse burette <laughs> with solution B. Rinse burette with solution B. One, titrations often give inaccurate results if done only once. Suggest so how repeating each experiment several times produces more accurate values. So you're repeating until you're getting uh, similar results. Then we will calculate the mean of similar uh, results. So we'll repeat until similar results obtained. Repeat until similar results obtained. Calculate mean. Of similar results. I will continue in my next video for next incoming questions. So thanks for watching. Press like and share my videos. For more videos, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.